Hey, what's up guys? It's time for another Pokemon Stadium Let's Play. In the last episode, we took care of Lieutenant Surge and nearly uh, got ourselves uh, soaked by the surfing Pikachu that came in out of nowhere. I had no, I, I had no idea that Surge had a surfing Pikachu. That still boggles my mind. Like, I only thought that you could use a surfing Pikachu in this game from Pokemon Yellow. Apparently, Lieutenant Surge has a surfing Pikachu. That's pretty awesome. Even though it doesn't really say consistent with the anime, but this game isn't anime based. It's more around just like the overall Pokemon experience, but I don't care. We're already past Surge. I'm already mind blown as it is that he has a surfing Pikachu. But anyway, that's not the gym leader that we're going to face. We're going to face off against Erika. And uh, here we go. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh, I can already tell this is gonna be hard. Last? Oh my god, every friggin' last trainer is hard. Cool trainers are also kind of hard. Beauties, I think, just use like a punk strategy. So, it is probably gonna be a bit of a hard one here. <laughs> hard one. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. Oh man, these lasts and... Oh <laughs> I can already tell this is gonna be brutal. Uh, just even looking at the Jigglypuff and the Wigglytuff, uh, just, it's making me cringe already. Alright, uh, Clefable? No, let's see. Hitmonchan. Okay, Hitmonchan? Yeah, let's put him in. Um, let's see. Um, put out Clefable, I'm going to get count of Paris, wait, what is that Paris' name? Parasess, Parasess, Ratatas, Cubonus, Puffet, Tuffet, Evet, yeah, very feminine names here. It's like dude and dudette and uh the Dutch and Duchess. Ugh. Um let me think about this. So yeah, you know what? Put a look at tongue as well. I think we're good. I think Hitmon Chan is gonna reel it in for us, even though that Hitmon Chan, from what I remember, doesn't have the best of stats, but I don't think it's not like his moveset. Besides, it's good against, like, normal types, so... Let him be faster. Please let him be faster than Jigglypuff. Yes! Take her out, or him out. I don't know, genders haven't been invented yet. Aw, oh, really? Oh, he took that ice beam like a boss. My biggest fear of, like, ice beam is that my Pokemon may be frozen. Oh, uh, you pong. Oh, that's okay. I still have Ice Punch. The attack wasn't effective. Oh, what? I forgot I had a recoil. Uh, whatever. Ice Punch him. <laughs> what? I didn't know you could be frozen by Ice Punch, that's awesome! <laughs> that's also pretty cool at the same time. I haven't frozen a Pokemon in a long time, to be honest. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm gonna suck... I'm gonna suck Wigglytuff right in the jaw with this. Oh wow, I didn't even do that much. Alright, come on. Come on, what you got? What you got? What you got? Whoa, Looks what? like a bad Pokemon choice. Aww. Oh, what? That much of a recoil? Aww, you punk. You punk. Alright. Strength. Come on. Let's do this. Oh, he's gonna. She's gonna take me out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh... 
I thought Hitmonchan might be my saving grace, but I probably should have retreated it while I still had a chance. Alright, uh... Let's bring out Clefable. Whatever, it's okay. I don't know what the announcer is saying there. It has to make up for Long's Brown? What does that even mean? Or I don't even know what he's saying there. Yeah, it's a hit. Yeah, Alright, the only other Pokemon that she has is Jigglypuff. Unfortunately, I can't freeze two Pokemon. So, we make do. I even noticed that Jigglypuff has a lot of HP, even more than Cathedral does. And I can't really put Jigglypuff to sleep because of that one rule. No two Pokemon to sleep were frozen. Oh really? You're gonna ice beam me back? Oh boy. Alright, this may be a bit of a... Yeah, I, yeah, I am using metronome. Might be a bit of a risk. Oh, that risk paid off! <laughs> Suck it, people who say metronome is a crap move. <laughs> and look at this! It's a frozen statue! Uh. I thought last was going to be a bit of a pain. I just love the fact that I froze Paris with an ice punch. I thought Ice Beam was the only move that could really do that. That and maybe Aurora Beam. But that's awesome that I just froze Paris with an ice punch. I don't know, I find that funny for some reason. Alright, you, uh, you are, you have, uh, water Pokemon. Oh boy, this is, yeah, this is actually a pretty diverse, uh, match here. Two Pokemon, or, uh, four Pokemon are weak against electricity. And, uh, unfortunately I didn't pack any electric Pokemon. Uh, two are sort of not affected to electricity, but they are weak against ice. So, let's see. I might have to use Hitmonchan again, just for the fact that he has uh, Thunder Punch. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, hmm. Uh, bring out Clefable Fable again. And then, um... What do you have? Uh, you have... You have Fly. Uh, what do you have, Jinx? Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm. You have Sidekick, which is pretty good. It's pretty good for almost anything, really. But, I don't know. Dratini might have, um... Fire Blast, so, uh... I don't know what would be the bigger, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe Lickitung. Yeah, why not? Lickitung. Uh, let's do that. Alright. Suck him right in the face. Oh, I didn't do that much. Uh, oh, that was actually a pretty good move there. <sighs> okay. Hmm. All right. You know what? I'm gonna switch out him on Chan with uh, Clefable here. So maybe, uh, maybe Ice will do the trick, I'm not sure. I'll, t I'll take a bit of a risk here and there. 
Yeah, look we'll, we'll at Cafebo dish out that ice beam. Or, like, would stand that ice beam, rather. I'm gonna go on another risk here and use uh, Metronome once again. A high jump kick? Wow! Oh. You know, I'm gonna use Ice Beam. I'm not in tire. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! What? Oh man, I did not expect that. Usually, the Horror Jewel has like a 1 in. 1 in maybe 7 chance of hitting the mark? 1 in 5, I think? Somewhere along those lines. Oh. I totally did not expect that. Oh, don't, please don't. Please, oh. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> did you see the way that Look at Tongue like prepared to do that body slam? Oh no, please, oh please. No! Oh. Oh. Look at Tom. Okay. There's a difference in the number of results. Oh man. Oh, I am in deep sh I I am definitely in deep sh Nothing left in reserve. Oh gee. How many Pokemon we have left? Friggin' three? I didn't even take out one yet! Oh, and Thunder Punch sucks. Look at this. It's doubly effective. It didn't even uh Oh, I <laughs> dude, I, 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 oh. Luckily, we didn't get too far. At least, like, we didn't die on like the final match here. Oh, I did not expect to find water Pokemon here of all things. Oh. Yeah, this might actually be the one time where um. Where we start. short as I can here. Alright, you still have those two normal types, so like last time we're gonna send out Mon Chan. Um we're also gonna send out Cliff Fable and then uh then uh, Jinx. Yes. This might be one of the first times I actually had a restart. Uh, in a while at least. Get out of here, you little rat. I hope this will be one of the only times where I have to restart a uh, gym match. Although I'm pretty sure it's probably not going to be the last time. Okay, it didn't take any recoil damage from that. All right. Um... Oh, it's Wiggly Tongue. Wow, are you just gonna stand out normal types against me? The Pokemon are entirely. I'm so glad I picked my champ. Um, hit my champ then. I was setting the champ. No, this Pokemon looks wrong. And oh my god, that recoil! I hate it. Uh, paralysis is so common in the old generation. That's one of the biggest gripes I have. Even though the paralysis doesn't really like drain your damage or anything like poison does, it's still annoying to deal with because you. Uh. Anyway, you're out. I don't really care about TKOs. I just want to get back to the beauty match. There's a distinct difference in the well, at least you got to see me mess up once. 
and I sincerely hope it'll be the only time where you get to see me mess up. The remaining Pokemon now All right, normal type, submission. Oh no, you're one of those Pokemon, aren't you? Ugh, submission isn't that accurate in the first place, so, yep, I knew it. At least I didn't suffer any recoil. Oh, I, fall I forgot I had paralysis as well. Oh, it's sand attack too? Oh, this is gonna be annoying. I I can tell. That's it. I'm switching. Uh, Jinx, you're coming out here. I don't want to deal with this. Ugh. Oh, you're gonna seriously use double team again? Oh, I, I, I wish I had Swift. Alright, luckily Psychic is usually like pretty accurate, even if you do have double team. Yep. Please knock him out. Oh, close. Sand attack! Ugh, please. Please. I just want to get back to the beauty match so I can clear this gym. Uh, I hate these type of trainers. I hate them. They're such trolls. Yes. Take that. Oh, I'm so glad I had a psychic Pokemon on hand. Even though there is a point where if you are sand attacked and uh, double teamed to a certain degree, then you will definitely uh, start missing with uh, psychic. So, yeah, even at that point, uh, double team and sand attack is a nightmare to deal with. Okay, I'm back with some electric Pokemon, so, or at least one electric Pokemon at least. So, yeah, Jinx, oh wait, uh, sorry, uh, Raichu, Jinx and um, uh, go Fable. Go Fable. Remember that weird episode where it was in the first season where they explain how uh, like Clefairy and Go Fable are like aliens. Yeah, they're like supposed to be alien Pokemon for some reason. And for some reason, they decided to use that same idea for another episode in the later, uh, in the later parts of the season. And they didn't even bring back the same guy that was in that episode. It was just like another, like, sort of, like, Clefairy uh, are aliens kind of idea, really. So, yeah, what the hell? I never really got that. It was just like a weird episode. Or, or episodes. Oh, oh, Alright, we're at least back to the beauty match, so... What now? Uh, where are we? 26 Major minutes? Death. Oh, boy. Uh, this is gonna be a long episode, to be sure. How will the swap Pokemon fight? How will the swap Pokemon fight? Well, that's the... Yes! Good. One hit. Or at least... Uh, or yeah, I guess one hit. It, it counts. Uh, we're gonna be switching out with Raichu again. It's sort of like a back and forth uh, kind of thing here. Right, she's like, where the f is my introduction? Ass. What's that? How? Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Well, it might, mister. It might. What's this? Real that? Oh, critical. Ouch. Ouch. How's that? Alright, come on. It's gotta die. 
Yes. God, it's a one hit wonder. Oh, uh, at least we're done with that nonsense. I only hope that the cool trainer is like. I don't know if the cool trainer isn't as bad as uh, these two were. Oh, and by the way, fun fact: when I was a kid, I didn't know what the, like the female and male symbols were. So I always thought that this cool trainer right here, I thought that was a guy. Yeah, like I didn't know that that hair thing was supposed to be like a giant ponytail. Yeah, because, you know, she's dressed in tomboy clothes. So, I don't know. Maybe she'll grow up to be a lesbian one day. I, I don't know. Uh, how am I supposed to tell? I thought it was a boy. Get off my back. Anyway, let's take a look here. We got... Uh, we got two poison types. Uh, two normal types. One grass and ground. Alright, we got two that are really uh, weak against ice, two that are weak against psychic. Oh, but wait, we have a combination of that. We have Jinx! However, there are two normal types. So, we're going to send out uh, Hitmonchan to deal with that. And, um, let's see. Um, bu 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 Huh? Yeah, why not? Uh, go Fable again. Or... Um, hmm... Yeah, go Fable. Oh, by the way, I already told you guys how, um... I, I uh, completed my Pokemon Blue Pokedex. While I was doing that, Chansey was one of the hardest Pokemon to ever capture. And this is like way before I learned that you could catch Chansey uh, in the Cerulean Cave. I didn't. I didn't know that. I had to do like the normal thing where I had to go to the Safari Zone. And as many of you know, the Safari Zone sucks if you want to catch certain Pokemon. Like Scyther and Tauros. Because the Safari Zone is so back ass. In the way that, um, in the way that you catch Pokemon, because you don't use your Pokemon really. You just throw rocks at it and throw bait at it, hoping that some sort of combination. Oh, really? Fine, I'll give you another kiss then. Alright, let's see. Let's use Psychic here. So yeah, I had to catch Chansey in the Safari Zone. And believe me, I spent maybe about two hours just trying to catch one. It was that painfully hard. I probably had to, I had to say, the sad thing is, it took me probably just as long in order to catch, um... Uh, both Scyther and Tauros. Oh, really? Ah, I kiss you for nothing. No! No, 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 no! I need Jinx! Oh, that means it lived. Okay. I was hoping I could just at least put, uh... I was hoping I could at least put, uh, Lickitung to sleep before I switch out. So, uh, yeah. That kiss didn't work. So anyway, uh, yeah. It took me a very long time in order to catch Chansey. And as soon as I learned that you could catch Chansey in, Vi uh, not Victory Road, uh, in the Cerulean Cave, I was freaking pissed. Because I didn't know you could catch Chansey normally. Although I had to go to the Safari Zone anyway because I wanted to catch your uh, Scyther and whatnot. Aw, oh, dude, I might use. Yeah. Wow. Going down. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. All right. Oh, it's Lapidus. We're evenly matched. Oh boy. Neither Pokemon is fast. 
Alright, use Ice Beam. Hopefully you'll knock him out. A decent hit. Oh, uh, It's probably going to take one or two more just to bring him down. No, not super. Hopefully he's still confused. Damn it. Confusion is always annoying. I don't want to switch out to Jinx because of the fact that he knows Ice Beam. Or uh, not Ice Beam, uh, Fire Blast. Yes. Thank God. It's finally taken it down. Yeah, no kidding. I put it to sleep how many times with Lovely Kiss? Um, by the way, kissing a lick of tongue? Don't ever want to do that. I'm so glad Jinx did it for me because I'm pretty sure lick of tongue, with its massive tongue, probably gave me a French kiss. What a weird combination indeed. A Pokemon that knows kiss and a Pokemon that has a giant tongue. And in some cases, lick a tongue doesn't a lick. This one I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah! Didn't even have to bring out J uh, Jinx for that one. Okay, we are running at uh, 33 minutes here. And finally, we are moving on to Erica. Ugh. Oh, man, oh man. It's been a long Let's Play, folks. Long Let's Play. Yes, I knew it. Ugh. See, these Pokemon are easy to deal with. Were it not for the underlings, this would have been a cakewalk. Anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, bring out Arcanine. I haven't used him yet. Arcanine. Uh, Jinx. And Pidgeot. Right? Right. It's on the battle against Erica. It's on the battle against Erica. Smart strategy is the key to victory. Oh yeah, strategy indeed. All I could do is just burn the hell out of these Pokemon here. Fire! Fire! fire. Yeah, using that strategy, all right. <laughs> Take it down on the way go. And by the way, you ever remember that episode where Ash had a uh, cross-dress in order to get into Erica's gym? Man, that was a weird episode indeed. And definitely proves how annoying Ash can be. The reason why he wasn't able to enter Erica's gym? Get this. He basically trashed on the fact that, you know, perfume makes men into zombies apparently. And apparently when he was bashing against Perfume, he was in a perfume shop, and guess who was the owner? Erica. I mean, I'll admit, I, I can get where he's coming from. I hate Barbie dolls. I hate everything girly. At least back then. I love the Little Mermaid. <laughs> At least now I do. Ah, uh, para... <sighs> Whatever, that's it. You're getting another Fire Blast. Ah, let me do fire blast. But yeah, it's like one of the. Ah, really? All right, that's it. I'm bringing out Jinx. Screw you, Via Plume. Yeah, it was just like an episode that proves how big of a douche Ash can be and how annoying he can be too. Oh, please don't paralyze me this time. Please don't. Yes. Yes. Yes, please on. All right, give him a nice punch. Although hypothetically, I could have used Psychic. That would have worked too. But uh, yeah, doesn't even have that much uh, HP anyway. Love how I love how Vile Boom just deflates, like <laughs> like a balloon, like going out. What if that's a sound it made when it fainted? That'd be disturbing. <laughs> oh my god, look at Bloom's eyes. I wonder if Brock ever opened his eyes and that happened. Kapow! Major damage! Wow! Take it down with one hit. This is probably his dream come true right here. So much in, so much excitement in like the battle here. 
Just giving him reasons to scream over the top. And we are finally done with Erica. After having like a retry with Beauty's battle. And having to battle like Glass again. Oh man, it's been a long let's play. Or not that long, but it, it definitely felt long. <sighs> anyway, uh, that's it for uh, Erica. In the next episode, we're going to be tackling the Fuchsia City Gym. Koga, the ninja. Koga, ninja. Ninja Koga. Hit rhymes. Anyway, we're going to be taking on Koga in the next episode. So, I will see you guys then. Bye!